not subscribe to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button as shown above hello friends welcome to kamat astrology so in today's video we will cover a very different topic which is mentioned in the bhavishya malika i have earlier done a video on bhavishya malika its core concepts and teachings you can watch that video now this is the second part of that video and in the bhavishya malika it is mentioned that china along with 13 islamic nations will attack india now when will this event happen and how will india come out of this is what i am going to cover in this video so now in the bhavishya malika the saint achyutanand das mentions this event wherein china along with the support of 13 other islamic nations will attack india but he has not clearly given the date when this will happen but he has mentioned certain conditions under which this event will happen so let us try and understand those conditions first so first thing he says is that these events will happen or will get triggered when there is a 13 day shukla paksha so this 13 day shukla paksha it happens between march 14th 2025 and march 26th 2025 even the mahabharata war got triggered during the 13 day shukla paksha so that is the first condition which he mentions second thing which he says is that during that time or immediately following that 13 day shukla paksha there will be an eclipse and the third thing which he specifies is that the world war gets triggered when saturn is in aquarius right now saturn is transiting in aquarius he is becoming retrograde on 17 june 2023 which means that as per the bhavishya malika the events which will trigger the world war have already started the next condition which he says is that there will be an amavasya and it will happen on saturday which means it will be a shani amavasya and that happens on 29th march 2025 so on 29th march 2025 three key events are happening first is it will be an amavasya second is there will be a partial solar eclipse on this day and third is saturn will enter the mean rashi on 29th march 2025 and all these events immediately follow the 13 day shukla paksha from march 14th to march 26th 2025 so this is satisfying all the conditions given by sant achyutanand das ji and therefore the most likely time frame when this attack will happen starts around 29th march 2025 you will see this cluster of planets which i have shown by a red circle in the mean rashi now what is the mean rashi or what is the sign of pisces it is the last sign in the zodiac belt and therefore on a world plane this represents the last sign the ending sign it represents foreign countries conspiracies the next sign is aries which means after this war there will be a new beginning now let us look at each of the planets in the sign of pisces so first thing is i want to look at the moon because the moon represents the third house in india's charts and therefore the moon represents our neighboring countries it represents our borders and you can see in this case the moon is under severe affliction which means that during this time our borders will be under severe affliction somebody will try to infiltrate our borders look at 
the sign of leo which is ruled by the sun sun is also under severe affliction in the sign of pisces it is surrounded by the enemies like rahu venus saturn since the sun represents the fourth house in india's chart it represents the motherland it represents the masses it represents the people in our country it shows there will be chaos in this time in our country now venus or shukra represents islamic countries rahu represents conspiracies so this is a time when foreign countries will conspire against india because this is the natural 12th house of the zodiac belt showing foreign conspiracies rahu itself represents foreign things venus plus rahu can represent the islamic nations so the cluster of planets in the sign of pisces shows foreign conspiracies many foreign countries coming together to conspire against india the sign of pisces as i mentioned earlier also represents the ocean it represents the river bodies and therefore because watery planet such as moon is also present here pisces itself is an ocean it shows the attack could be carried via the sea as well as by the armies pisces is a watery sign and therefore there is a strong possibility of the attackers coming via the sea route now this zone where you see the cluster of planets as well as the sign of aries that represents the northeast regions and therefore it is possible that in this time china will try to cut off the northeast regions from india such as arunachal pradesh sikkim mizoram all those regions china will try to cut off from india and these forces can enter through these regions consequently move into the west bengal region and then reach orissa so this period starts from march 14th 2025 and it will go on for a month so roughly till mid of april that is around april 8th april 9th this type of attack can happen in the year 2025 is what i clearly see now is this attack on india going to be successful definitely not because now 13 islamic nations and china will attack india eight other countries will also support india what about russia russia will remain neutral russia will neither oppose nor suppose support india in this time and what does the bhavishya malika says the bhavishya malika says that this final battle will be fought in the region of katak and india will emerge as a victor in this battle it will be able to defeat china as well as the 13 other nations that attack it but there will be heavy loss of life in this time period on both the sides the chinese as well as the forces of the 13 other nations are most likely to enter india through bangladesh then through west bengal and then reach orissa china will try to cut off the regions of arunachal pradesh sikkim mizoram from india and that is how china will also launch an attack parallelly the bhavishya malika says that pakistan will be completely defeated in this war there will be no trace of pakistan left and all the other 13 countries that support it will also become very poor very powerless china will eventually split into multiple parts is what is going to happen now why will this attack actually happen one reason is because by this time the european countries will be fighting amongst themselves there will be a lot of poverty and problems in the european nations as well as the gulf countries and because india will still have food because india will still have riches these countries 
will try to attack india and gain something out of it world war triggering situations would have started and europe will be in a very bad state once this happens even the gulf nations will fight among themselves and there will be a lot of destruction in the times ahead is what the bhavishya malika clearly shows so friends hope you like this video to know more about us visit our website astroseva.tripod.com for any queries write to us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and we'll be glad to assist you so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe